All right, y'all, so first off, before I am doing a video on helping someone buying this thing, or maybe y'all just wanna check it out or just look at the car, since I am doing that, I gotta shout out my bro. He helped me get this car. Um, I wouldn't even have this car if it wasn't for him, you know, helping me get it. You know what we gotta do. Let's get some angles. I got a full tank of gas in my E-Class Benz. I got the S600 through the AMG in. Mashing up the block, they can't see through tents. Why my G-Wagon gotta be so dipped? All I ever wanted was a brand new Benz so I could ride four deep, just me and my friends. I used to be flat broke, now I got ends. First thing I did was go buy me a Benz. Look, I'm leaving, mashing this Benz all season. Body to be okay, so I had my S Coupe for what? Going on maybe two years now? And in that two years span, Man, I made multiple videos about this thing and multiple reliability videos. So that's number 10, what you need to know. Is it reliable? All right, so on the S-Class Coupe, there is no thing here in America, there is no thing as a V6. You know, even the S550 started as a V8 by turbo, then you only go up from there. So with that said, this car, yes, it's reliable. Yes, it's been a good car. Um, overall, they rate the reliability on these coming in at a pretty nice value. Now with anything is what I tell everybody that does end up liking this or even tell me, hey, what do you think? Should I get one? Is it reliable? Um, I always tell them, yes, it is reliable, but if things break, if things go out, it can cost, you know, brakes alone. I did a video on that. Brakes alone are about 2000 and it's not even for the AMG version. You know, let something go out, let something happen to the suspension. You're looking at probably two to five K job. But for the most part, yes, it is reliable. Always consider a warranty when you're when you are getting one of these things. You know, I had a three year warranty, but let alone I didn't really have to use it. But if y'all know or if y'all did watch one of my YouTube videos, there is a problem where the oil was leaking into the ECU and that could be a six K and upward job. Luckily, my mechanic you know, he caught it and he let the ECU, you know, basically clean itself out, you know, get the oil and stop the bleeding and get some new uh, sensors up front for it or get some new cam seals up front to stop it. But that is a problem with these cars for any trim you get. The oil could leak, you know, your cam seals could fail and it could go to your ECU causing like a big problem where the engine have to come out and, you know, the engine wire harness and that could be a 6K and upward job alone. You know, coming in at number nine, will there be a new S-Class Coupe? You know, sorry, as beautiful as this thing look, just look at it, let's just admire it. There is no new S-Coupe coming out. So consider that as well, if you're going to buy one of these things, that could be a good or a bad thing. Good thing, they don't make it no more. So your new model, this model is gonna always look like the new model, one of the last models in the Coupe. Bad thing is if you're one of those people that like the newer cars, like, oh, they don't even make it no more. Is it a bad car? It's definitely not a bad car. I did a review on it going away and Gordon Wagner actually said himself that if you got one of these things, you should buy one or hang on to it. It's definitely a great car, but no new model. Okay, so how much do these things cost? You know, I hate to say depreciation is crazy. It's crazy, man, because I got mine for around 70 with all options, everything. And I look on the market now and I see these going for like some of them are going for 40. And you know my lowest so what mileage would i get it for uh i will go 70 or under even if you get one with 70 you're all right just make sure you had a service records and everything but the s550 msrp started at 118 so go figure but with options if you spec it out the way i did you know this one in particularly the msrp came up to about 141 i had the Desenio trim and i had the high-end burmester sound system the 3d but all models, all coupe variants started over a hundred thousand, but now you can get these for maybe like 40. You know, you can get the S63s for around like 50 to 60. And I've seen some S65s going for about 80 and that's on a used market. So depreciation is crazy, but man, these are lovely cars. You will love it if you go out and get one, especially for today's prices. So it's a win. All right, so number seven, is it better than the E-Class coupe? You know, I get this all the time or a C-Class coupe. It definitely is because it's an S-Class, so it's loaded with way more tech. I know the E-Class, it basically, in the C-Class, they almost look like the S-Class. So what are you actually getting? Were you actually getting a wider car? You know, a car to me that looked relatively more boss, more executive-like. 
in a car that's more wide, you know, more technology, you know, I feel like the S-Class is everything. Like, look at the hips on the back. Like, it just, it just come for a more better car. And most importantly, it's more smoother than all those cars. So it would be a better buy to actually bump up and just get the S-Class coupe. And it has a V8 over the E-Class coupes that have an inline four or six or whatever. All right, so that go hand in hand with number six. Is it loaded with tech? Yes, you know, so it got the keyless go where you don't need the key. And behind, mirrors fold out, you know, push button start. Ooh, the car came to me, y'all seen that? I'm just joking, I been new about that. But loaded with tech, yes. You know, massaging seats, fragrance in the glove department, a 360 camera, you know, ambient lights, you know, in the newer ones, they upped it to like 64 colors or you can make a color, but it's very nice. Loaded with tech. And that's just to name a few, let alone, you know, it got the Distronic Plus where it could practically kind of drive itself, you know, change lanes on its own. So yes, very loaded with tech, just to name a few. All right, number five, is it actually sporty? You know, just look how it looked. You know, I put some Ford Giottos on here with Continentals. To me, driving it, it's not a sports car, but yes, it is a sport. That's why I know some people in the comments might not like this one, but yes, it is like a S550 AMG Sport. Not an AMG model, but a, on, on this one in particular, but an AMG Sport. It had like three AMG packages along with the AMG trim, so... I would say it's like an AMG Sport. It got a certain feel. I think it got a, even like a tuned little sus AMG suspension. So it got more than just, you know, a normal S. But even a normal S, I feel like it's still somewhat sporty. They're, they're all somewhat sporty once you go into the coupe. And I think that's why you even get the coupe. It's not a sports car by no stretch, but it is indeed a sporty car. It can be, like it's not first, it's luxury first. You know, it's not sportier than a BMW 8 Series, not sportier than a 6 Series. You know, they got the sport down packed, but Mercedes got the luxury down packed. But yes, it does come with a hint of sport, you know. All right, so my number four, y'all, yes, it is surprisingly practical. You know, meaning if you look in there, it has cup holders. You can go run errands in this thing. You know, it's surprisingly, you know, it can get you where you want to go. You know, it is like a GT car. It's meant for long cruises. So, yes, it is practical, even with this size. Like, I basically can take this thing anywhere. Like, you could drive it anywhere. You could drive it every day. It's really practical. You know, you could drive it everywhere, and it is pretty quick. Woo! It packs a punch for a 550. It's no slouch. It, 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 it packs a real kick. Like, I can barely tap the gas. Ooh. You can feel the turbos moving, but yes, more practical. Your cup holders, as I mentioned, um, it's pretty big in size. You know, it don't handle like a sports car at all, but it is indeed, you know, a daily practical, surprisingly practical car. Like, man, if y'all just look like I always need gas, but if y'all can look like you could just tell it, it's pretty snappy. You you see that you can feel the by turbos, even in the, while it being a heavy coupe, if you just give it a little gas, like it, it'll start sprinting. That's me like barely tapping the gas. So imagine the tune, you know, imagine whatever you can imagine in your head. But look, this is a little, you just give it a little bit. And it, it, it gets going for a big yacht. And the thing about these cars, as with AMGs as well, you know, the more you get on them, it, it get on them mean, I mean, get on the gas means it goes to your driving style. The more it figures that you want to run the car harder, the more it'll start acting like you do. Like, so now that I gave it a few, a few runs, if I just tap it now, you see that RPM jump is crazy. And that all oh, that's in eco mode. How about if you put it in sport? Let's see what'll happen. You know, this one got a higher exhaust note. So what y'all need to know also as well is it got a better exhaust note than the four door, than the sedan. You know, the coupe is tailored. When we first got it, me and my bro, we thought like some they did something to the exhaust, but no, it just it just sounds like that. So if you even just give it a little gas. Like, oh man, for a 550, this thing get to moving. All right, so number three, Mercedes didn't cheap out on the seats. So yes, they do have a bare bones model, what I like to call it. 
but they didn't cheap out meaning they could have just said okay it's a 550 so all these seats are going to be like that they didn't really have to you know upscale it and give us a better design seat you know the flex of the 550 is you having to design your seats but remind y'all and remember i don't do none of this to flex this is all to help people out but i'm saying if you're looking to buy one that's the flex of you know of the s class you know it's having to design you know someone getting in and, and it's even in in the seat you know what i mean so that's what i mean so they didn't really cheap out on the seats i mean they have a cheaper version of seats but they didn't really have to give us these all right number two uh it's very well equipped stock that's what i want to say so even though that this one is not actually a base model like it's a base trim but it's not actually a base model because the seats and the high-end you know 3d system and all the specs it got and all the options you know boosted it up to like a top spec s550 but what i mean the base model or is well equipped stock meaning that so the stock one really has like lines right here no amg kit but you still get a lot of options stock so don't look at it and that's your last resort and be like ah I don't want that one. If that's your only option, you should get it because it's still the S class and it's still more well equipped stock than any other bins or a lot of cars that's still on the market. All right, now number one, what I want y'all to know is yes, this car did come as a V12. You can get this as a V12. That's just crazy. You can get this model car as a V12. You know, I kind of, I used to like the rear wheel drive ones, but as I got used to driving this and off the line, that four Matic get to going. But here in America, the V12 is a rear wheel drive, but that's the king of the road. That's the, you know, the highest spec one you could get, you know? So they don't have this S600 no more, but they did have a S65 for this year model car, which is lovely. You, you got a big V12 under the hood. And what's crazy is this is even more than enough this is more than enough power like it's more than enough so i could imagine a s65 which i haven't drove yet but i don't know if i'm planning to get one because my personal mechanic told me that uh those cars mechanical wise is kind of a piece of you know what but for the flex the s65 is totally the way to go so i want to thank everybody you know for watching this video i hope all them 10 things you know i touched on helped y'all make that purchase or go buy the bins, you know, as lovely as they are, as lovely as they is, as lovely as it look. You know, great car to have. So I hope that this helped some people signing off. Bins, man.